if we look at Islamic law and how we would apply it. As we approach tafsir, the first thing we do is we go to the Quran. We have an issue that we need to determine and establish a law for. We go to the Quran first and foremost. And if we find a law there, can we say, Alhamdulillah, we've got the law here in the Quran, this is what we will apply, no need to go to the Sunnah. Can we say that? Can we stop here? Is that possible? Tell me. No? Correct. No. It has been mistakenly taught that you go to the Quran, if you find the law in the Quran, finish. No need to go. It's been mistakenly. So a Muslim, when he said to you, the Quran is our law. He is making a big mistake. The Quran cannot establish a law. Why? If this is the word of your God, it means your God book is not perfect. It means your God book cannot complete the needs of Muslims. It means the book of Allah is not what Muslims need for their, their, their life otherwise it should be more than enough to establish a law this is what he said oh, we heard it it's been mistakenly in a, mis in a mistaken way taught that you can go by the law or establish a law from the Quran alone this is a mistake why let us see why Go further. If you don't find it in the Quran, then you go to the Sunnah. This is a mistake. When you find it in the Quran, you must go to the Sunnah to get the Prophet's clarification of it. You must go there. You cannot stop. Because if we do that, there are many laws in the Quran. And the funny. 80% of the Quran don't have a clarification of the Prophet. So we, now we will go to who? Most of the Sunnah of Muhammad, it's about how to have sex, how to, shave, how to shave your private part, how to bang your wife. Most of the Quran is mysterious verses. Nobody knows what it means. So now we will go to who and how we can establish that law. It's mean that law is useless and not exist even. Which have been clarified, the details of which have been clarified in the Sunnah, if you applied it as it existed in the Quran, you would be applying it incorrectly. See, if you apply the Quran law, you will apply it incorrectly. How? For example, if we take the laws of food in the Quran, it states there, what are the forbidden foods? The animals that are killed by a blow and they fall and all of this, this thing, and pork. Then Allah says after that, and whatever is beyond that is halal. So it means we can eat tigers and lions, eagles, and and cats and rats and cockroaches and ants and the fly and yeah you know so you see the Quran says anything beyond that is halal this is wrong the Quran said that but this is wrong who is going to do the correction Muhammad Muhammad he will correct for his God Allah his God is a fool because if God, he say, whatever beyond that, your God is not aware of cats and rats and an eagle and tiger and lion. He don't know. He never heard of them. Why then he say, whatever beyond that is halal. He gave you the names. Exactly what is forbidden for you. And he said, whatever. And the word whatever, it means there is no limitation. The exception is those names. Those are forbidden. Anything else is not. Allah was wrong. 
Who want to correct him? The real God, Muhammad. Take that Quranic text. And you could argue that. However, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Let us not find one of you reclining on a couch, holding up the Quran, saying, Whatever I find halal in here, I will make halal. And whatever I find haram in here, I will make haram. Bas, only. Because, as the Prophet ﷺ said, I made things halal and I made things haram which are not found in the book. The Quran said something. Muhammad don't agree. And here you will see this Muslim trying to tell you, well, if it's not found in the Quran, Muhammad he will make it forbidden or not. Muhammad will give us the answer. But who said it's not found in the Quran? The verse you gave us, smart man, it's found there because Allah He said, whatever beyond that is open for you. It is kosher. It is halal. It is not forbidden. He said, whatever. It's mean it is there. The law is there. Muhammad will do the correction. He say, no, no, no. no don't listen to Allah. And, and Allah, and there he, you know, he made a mistake. He should not say whatever. He should say whatever Muhammad approve. When your God, he said, whatever, beyond that is open for you. It's mean whatever. But you Muslims, you don't give a damn about your God. You don't give a damn about the Quran. Because the real God of Islam is Muhammad. Otherwise, who is Muhammad to correct to his God? If his God said, whatever beyond that is open for you, whatever beyond that is free for you, whatever beyond for that is free to use and to eat, who are you, Muhammad, to correct your God? So the Muslims, they will try to say to you in here, I'm trying to repeat the idea so people, they understand. That you know what, the law in there doesn't say if we can eat a lion. It doesn't say if we can eat a cockroaches. It doesn't say if we can eat an ant. But Muhammad will tell us if we can eat them or not. This is not the case. He said, and we heard him, that his God, Allah, he said, whatever beyond that is kosher for you, is halal for you, whatever beyond, it's mean everything is open, except those names I give you. If we take the laws of food in the Quran, it states there, what are the forbidden foods? It says there what is forbidding. It says there what is forbidding. So the forbidden food is listed. It's not listed. It is listed. So why you want to listen to Muhammad? You want to listen to your God. Your God, he showed you what is forbidden. That's it. Animals that are killed by a blow and they fall and all of this listing. And pork. And don't forget then Allah says after that, and whatever is beyond that is halal. So Allah, He said, whatever beyond that is halal. That's it. It's mean it is listed. Who said the law is not exist there? No, 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 no. We Muslims, we cannot follow this God. Allah, He's a fool. What do you mean whatever beyond that is halal? Do you want us to eat cockroaches? Are you crazy, Allah? Do you want us to eat rats and mouse? Well, Allah, He said that. He said, whatever beyond that is halal, it's kosher. No. We Muslims don't approve that. We will go and see what Muhammad, he will say, because after all, we don't give a damn about this God, Allah. We follow Muhammad. Muhammad is our God. Allah is a fool. We will never approve such a, a, a law like this. So Allah, He gave them what is approved, what is not approved. Muslims don't care. Don't care. It is Muhammad who will make the law, not Allah. Muhammad, he will do the correction for Allah, 
not the opposite. Saying, whatever I find halal in here, I will make halal. And whatever I find haram in here, I will make haram. Bas, only. Because, as the Prophet ﷺ said, I made things halal and I made things haram which are not found in the book. And we just prove that they are found, but you Muslims don't give a damn about your God. Jesus is Lord, Islam is false. And